Hi guys, Ben Carpenter here. I'm going to go over details with you of a new study which compared long range of movement training to short range of movement training in leg exercises. Most studies in this area look at electromyographic activity. For example, does squatting to full depth increase activity in the quadriceps versus squatting to quarter depth? This study was different because it looked at chronic, which is long-term, markers. And instead of looking at um, electromyographic activity, it looked at which is better for muscle mass, which is better for strength, which is better for fat loss, if there was any change to fascicle length, and which had the better effect, um, retention effect, during detraining, i.e. if you stop training for a couple of weeks, which one would you hold on to strength more so? So... Here's what they had. Two groups of individuals, one that performed leg exercises to 50 degrees of um, knee flexion and the other which performed them to 90 degrees within knee flexion. The hypothesis to this study was that muscles, depending on the amount of stretching and shortening they go on their subject to, they can add or detract sarcomeres, which means that you could modulate um, hypertrophy training by performing average muscle length specific training. For example, if you were training a muscle in a stretched position, would you get a different response to training in a shortened position? And that's exactly what this study was looking at. So both groups were allowed to use 80% of their one rep max, but what this meant is that the people doing 50 degree knee, knee angle actually used 10 to 25% more weight on those leg exercises. So to put this into context, this is specifically relevant for people that are doing half or quarter squats in the gym because they are often using more weight than what they could do um, with full range. So this study is exactly looking at if doing heavy partial range squats is better for fat loss, muscle mass, strength increases, etc. So what were the results? After eight weeks of training, the long range group had greater muscle mass increases, they had greater, uh, greater strength increases, they had greater fat loss as well. The interesting thing about this was that the long range group increased strength over the entire spectrum of joint angles. So for example, if they were squatting to 90 degrees, they increased their strength from 90 degrees right the way up, whereas the group who were only squatting to 50 degrees only increased their strength at similar joint angles when they did joint angle specific strength testing. Basically what that means is that if you're doing quarter squats in the gym, you are only getting good at quarter squats. It has no carryover to, to full depth squats. Whereas if you're performing full depth squats, even with a lighter weight, you're increasing your strength over the entire spectrum of joint angle. So if you're doing full squats, you're also getting better at half squats and better at quarter squats. Whereas the group doing quarter squats only got better at doing quarter squats. So if you want to increase muscle mass, increase strength, increase fat loss, the moral of the story is that you never sacrifice range of movement for additional weight. You are sure changing your results. In my opinion, partial range training is only for the advanced trainee who knows why they're doing it. For example, powerlifters will perform partial range training to overcome strength deficits at certain joint angles. For example, if they can't lock out on a bench press. If you're new to the gym, and you don't have a specific reason why you might only be going to 50 degrees on an exercise, don't do it. Perform full range training, and even with a lighter weight, you'll get better results than performing quarter squats at heavier weight. So, that's it. That's the moral of the story. If you've got any questions, uh, please ask them on my Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash Ben Carpenter Personal Training, or my Twitter page, which is BDC Carpenter. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.